Yo, what's up guys? Talking Man here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys which fighting style is better. I for Jambe, which is true black leg, or Fishman Karate V2. But before I get into that, if you guys do this to my channel, wanna see more content, guides, showcases about this game, you guys already know what to do. Subscribe guys and turn on that bell. And if you guys haven't joined my Discord yet, join it. We do a lot of giveaways in there. We have people to up for boss fights, raids, we have a training chat, and it's the overall chill server. So if you guys want to join our Discord, it'll be in the description and comments below. And for those who don't know yet, I am making a Roblox anime game called Anime Spirits. I'll show a couple seats on the screen. If you guys want to get tested for the game, go check out the Patreon in the Discord in the description and comments below. And for those who stay till the end, y'all have a chance of winning something. So only those who know about it are able to win it. But other than that guys, let's get straight into the video. So alright guys, in this video, we are gonna be comparing everything. And then at the end, we're gonna be showing which is the overall best so first we're gonna be showing how each one is obtained then second we will do a damage comparison and then third which is overall more useful so all right guys let's start off how each one is obtainable So in order to get Eifer Jambe, you need Black Leg, which is obtainable from first C. And then to get true Black Leg, you need to be able to go to second C. And there is a bunch of requirements for that. But yeah, once you guys are at least able to be at second C, you can get Eifer Jambe as long as you do all the requirements. And if you guys are wondering how to get Eifer Jambe, well, you need Black Leg, and then you're going to need true Black Leg, and then Eifer Jambe. And there's a lot more other steps. But if you guys are really interested in how to get Eye for John Bay, I suggest you go check out the video in the description as I show videos of how to evolve your black leg to Eye for John Bay. But yeah, that is pretty much how you get Eye for John Bay. And now for Fishman Karate V2. So in order to get Fishman Karate V2, guys, you need to be able to head to a third C. Yeah, third C, guys. You're also going to have to awaken your race as well. You could also get its v1 at first c but yeah fishman karate v2 you're gonna have to grind a lot grind krakens sea beast because it's already a lot of steps to awaken your race and now you need to awaken your fishman karate and be at third c yeah it's a lot more stuff guys and it's expensive as well costs you a lot of gems and again if you guys want to know step by step on how to awaken your race the places you need to go and the requirements to get karate fishman v2 go check out the videos in the description as I list all of them right there. But yeah guys, just from telling you guys that, you guys can already tell Fishman Karate V2 is more harder to get than Eifert Jambe. So I say the winner for the most obtainable one would have to be Eifert Jambe guys. And then now guys, let's go showcase a damage comparison. Starting off with the Eifert Jambe and for this we're going to be heading to Wano. So let's go ahead there. Also, keep in mind, guys, I won't be adding any buffs outside of its own buffs, of course. Such as accessories, hockey, I won't be adding any of that. So you guys can see it's like raw damage and its own power. So the first way, I'll be showcasing it without its own, like, buff. But then the second way, I'll be adding its buff. So here's how much the M1s do. It's easy 25,000. And then the Q move, the Collier shot, it does about, I think that was like 222,000. Then the E move, extra hot cheese, it does 30,000 damage multiple times. And then you got the R move, anti minor kick course, it does, I think that was 246,000. And then the shinable shoe F. I did not see how much that did, but I'll show it on the screen. And then for the last move, guys, the no room for dessert, it won't work unless you have true double jump on. So yeah, guys. Now let me go add up how much damage it did without its own buff. And alright, now guys, let's go add on the Ifrit Jambe. Here it is, you. As you can see, pretty sick. Okay, here's how much damage our M1s do now. I think that was 41,000 and then it did like 17,000 multiple times. I'll sort of damage that. And then the Q move, it does about... I did not see that. I'll show that on the screen as well. And then for the E move... Also couldn't really see that. I'll show that on the screen. 
the R move. It's really hard to see, but again, that'll be shown on the screen. And then the F, and then the F move, here it is, guys. Bam. Last but not Last but not least, our ultimate. Let's see. I almost died. Look at this. Okay, I'll show how much that did on the screen. And we died. Alright guys, now let's go showcase the Fishman Karate V2. Alright, so our M1s, they do about... 534,000 guys. <clears throat> and then our Q move, the Vagabond Drill, it does about... Let's see. I did not see that, but I'll show the damage on the screen. And then the Shark Jet move, that's just you traveling in the water guys. Let me show you real quick. Take this out. As you can see, you move super fast in water. Got a huge boost, and I died. All right, and after the R move, guys, the Demon Break Fist. This is about 534,000. Then your F. Then your F move, the Spear Wave. 270,000, like five times. Then, of then of course the last move, guys, the 5,000 tile True Punch. Here it is. And it does about, let's go see, 2 million, 2 million something. And alright guys, now let's go add on our form, the Awakened Fishman, here it is. Bam, look at that guys, check this out. You got fins on your hands, on your back, and you have like this wig looking thing. And yeah, let's go see how much stronger we got. So, all right, our M1s, they now do about 641,000. Then a Q move, the Vagabond Drill, it does... I don't know how much that was, but I'll show it on the screen how much it did. And I believe the Strike Dead is still the same speed. But let's go test it out. I don't know if you got faster, but... I can't really tell. I think it's the same. And then now for the arm move, Demon Break Fist. Here's how much damage it does. And that was like a million two hundred thousand. And then the arm. And then the arm move, Spear Wave. This is about six forty-one thousand each hit. Last but not least, guys, we gotta go see how much that ultimate does. Here it is. So it does about... 14 million, look at that. And I'll show you guys the total damage that that did. So yeah, the overall winner for damage is of course Fishman Karate V2. It does a lot more damage, guys. And now let's go compare which one is the most useful. And all right, guys, to compare which one is overall more useful, we're gonna be testing if their form buffs all other styles and just how strong that buff is. And to test that out, let's go see how much damage these other things do first. So our support style, the M1s do about 34,000 damage. Our swords, our sword, it does about 390,000 damage. And then our rubber fruit, it does about 63,000 damage. Now let's go activate the Ifa Bay guys. Bam. Let's go see now. Sparking red, it now does 40,000. Our sword, I think that was 465,000. And then our rubber fruit pistol, it does about 75,000. The buff's not bad. Now let's go see the buff for the Fishman Karate V2, guys. And now, and now let's go add the form. Here it is. Alright, let's go see now, guys. Sparking Red, it now does 41,000. Emperor Griffin, 460,000, looks like. And then a Rebufu Pistol, it does about 76,000. And yeah, guys, the buff is not even that big of a difference. 
so I guess for buffs wise they're kind of like even so yeah guys I guess overall more useful it'd have to be like a tie and not to decide which is better guys it of course have to go to the Fishman Karate V2 it's damage is so much stronger than Knife Jambe and the fact that Fishman Karate V2 has a mobility move such as a shark jet I'd say in my opinion Fishman Karate V2 is the overall best the only downside to it is there's so much steps in order to get this Fishman Karate V2. Yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think is better? I for John Bay or Fishman Karate? And yeah, now for the giveaway, guys. I'll be giving away two raid suits, guys. And if you don't know, raid suits, they're support styles, so they buff all your styles. And they are one of the best support styles in the game, especially if you get the Sparking Red. But I'll be giving one away in my Discord and one away in the video right here. So for the Discord one, all you gotta do, go to the description and comments, click on the Discord link, join it. And we have to the giveaway going on the huge giveaway channel. And for the video, just comment down, hashtag raid suit, and I'll pick a comment who is subscribed and has that said. But other than that, guys, Hope you guys have a good day, enjoy the update, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.